My G Fuel discount code, Cold CAC, is still at 30% off, but only until the 23rd of August. So use Cold CAC, C-A-C, to stock up on G Fuel, try it for the first time, and you can save a gigantic 30% off if used on checkout. Again, Cold CAC, C-A-C, to save 30% off your total G Fuel order. So... Where's the Canton City Hero Vault stuff? Guys, anyone? <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. As of right now, we have absolutely no news at all about the free Canton City Vault. The Hero Vault, the Costume Vault, and the CC Mascot Vault. Since the final vault ended, it's been quite literally radio silence. And, um... Bandai have been very, very, very tight-lipped about this, and we don't quite know why. But with that said, in this video, I want to go over... It's more so a theory that I have as to what they are doing with the Hero Vault update specifically, and when we could possibly, maybe... We don't know, but when we can possibly maybe expect to see some sort of news about it, and that, you know, the actual update itself. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Back when Legendary Pack 1 came out for Dragon Ball Universe 2 back in, what was it, March of 2021, there was a new sort of feature added in the city called the Canton City Vault. This would go on to have three vaults in total. The first vault would be to vault for a character. The second vault would be to vault for a costume. And the third and final vault, as of right now, would be to vault for a CC mascot. Again, as of right now, as of this upload, we just don't know who has won any of those votes. But we can probably take a bit of a guess to say that Ultra Instinct Goku did, or well, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku won the Canton City Hero Vault. The Dragon Ball Super King Vegeta outfit won the Canton City Outfit Vault. And I honestly don't know who could possibly win the CC mascot vault because I think they're more equally as good and as unique. I personally voted for the Oracle Fish green team. Aru. Oh, and before I continue, I do just want to say a massive thank you for the support just on the channel in general. Thank you guys. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing as, again, I think Legendary Pack 2 is fairly close now. I reckon at, well, at most, it's going to be another month at most. So that said, subscribe, leave a like on the video, leave a blank face emoji in the comments. Thank you ever so much. Cold Cack on G for you, all that good stuff. And yeah, just thank you for the support on the channel in general. Thank you. If you try to visit the Canton City Vault robot right now, it'll say that it's not available. And for some reason, you can't even look at just look at it like it doesn't go up to the screen which means that well yeah it's properly completely and utterly finished it is just a little bit strange however that we don't have any news about this at all like it's just weird unless they are saving it for a free update now let me explain why i think this we know legendary pack 2 is coming out well they say fall of 2021 so like what september october again prediction i believe the free update or the update itself will be out on the 21st of september 2021 just a, a prediction it'll be a bit scary if i'm right given what i'm about to say and i've mentioned this in my video titled dragon balls universe 3 reveal in 2022 question mark so it'd be weird if i if this turns out to be true we have to wait and see i think they, they are going to release well the update legendary pack 2 which by the way they're also now referring as the ultimate battle pack or something like that well the ultimate battle pack or battle pass something like that another word for ultimate is finished or completed or final who knows and i think i honestly do think at least as of everything that we see right now i do think that that is going to be the final paid update for dragon ball xenoverse 2 not the final update just the final paid update i think they've tried to finish xenoverse 2 twice before firstly when legend when uh, not legendary pack 2 when dlc 8 came out extra pack 4 the update that added super saiyan blue gogeta full-powered Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly. 
There was rumors at the time, and Bandai didn't say this, so take it with a pinch of salt, but there were heavy, heavy, heavy rumors at the time that this was going to be the final update for Xenoverse 2, or rather the final DLC for Xenoverse 2, so the final update, right? That turned out not to be true, as was it, six, seven months later, we then had Ultra Pack 1, the update that added Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, as well as Ribrian. And apparently, well, I, we, it's safe to maybe say that they also tried to end support for Xenoverse 2 during DLC 10, Ultra Pack 2, the Oob and Android 21 update, as there's a special mission in that update, or added from that update, which at the end of it, Supreme Kai of Time herself says, and with that, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 comes to an end, or comes to a close, or something very similar to that. So again, it's... It feels like the, that them trying to end Xenoverse 2, but because of maybe things out of their control, for, you know, for example, that thing that started in 2020, you know what I'm talking about, um, that maybe it was best for them to release Kakara and then to continue support for games such as Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and Dragon Ball Fighters, the latter of which just got a massive update a patch update and stuff like that now there's really two reasons why i believe the hero of vault stuff is going to be its own update later on and probably a free update probably in around give or take march or april of 2022 firstly it's because well they've not said anything about this being added in any way shape or form as of right now to the legendary pack 2 update either paid or free and actually in terms of the paid characters they're gonna well we know legendary pack 2 is only going to have two characters in it now they could put all this stuff in as part of the free accompanying update but I highly doubt that because again we probably would have heard at least something about that you know in the build up to legendary pack 2 which again as of right now probably about a month give or take at most in my opinion until it's out we've heard nothing at all about it and the second reason why i think this will be a free update is because and it's own update is because to vault on any of the free vaults the hero vault itself the costume vault and or the cc mascot vault you didn't need to own any paid dlc and i don't believe but i didn't well it's not that i didn't check it i just don't know I don't believe you needed an online subscription like PlayStation Plus or was it for Xbox, Xbox Gold. I don't believe you needed those for it. I'm not entirely sure about the Nintendo Switch because, well, it's a Switch and it's just a bit different and all that. I'm not entirely sure. But I just don't know why they would allow anyone to vote on these free votes if you don't have any of the updates. Well, any, well not updates, any of the paid DLC packs for Xenoverse 2 unless they're doing it because well it'll be a free update that anyone can just grab update for free and all that and therefore you wouldn't need any dlc to actually vote on it i could be completely wrong there this could be part of maybe legendary pack three legendary pack four infinite pack one if they do anything like that in the future hopefully for universe three but I think for Xenoverse 2, even though I'm saying it now, I'm still enjoying the game, I'm still enjoying the content on it, you know, all that good stuff. I honest, honestly, hand on heart, I'm really enjoying it. But probably because I want Xenoverse 3, like, I, even though I'm saying now, okay, let's wrap up Xenoverse 2, guys, right? Now, that said, when could we expect it? Well, since DLC 4, the, Super, well, the update that added Super Saiyan Blue Goku and full power Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly, every update either be a paid dlc update or a free update for example the free supreme card time update every update has been at least around six months from each other whereas before it was what two three maybe four months from each other like from dlc one to dlc seven well from dlc one to dlc eight then from dlc eight onwards it's been at least six months in some cases it's actually been seven months now if legendary pack 2 is released like what the second well the third or fourth week in september 2021 again prediction the tw for me i'm going to predict that the update itself will come out on the 21st of september 2021 then the hero vault update could come out around give or take march or april of 2022 and i think that will be a fantastic update to end on because well if it's going to be a free update 
you know, it's a free update to end it on. Fantastic stuff there. Plus, we also know there's going to be some sort of like fashion contest. Long story short, the fashion contest in Xenoverse 2, there's been one already, but it's only been for Japan. The next one, which is going to start in fall 2021, probably, at, well, as Legendary Pack 2 comes out. The winners of that are going to be added, I believe at least, added as a loading screen in a future update, probably the Hero Vault update. Again, that's another free aspect. And secondly, well, and finally, just to end the video, from the free Supreme Car of Time update released, can you, can you guys actually believe that, that the Supreme Car of Time update was released a year ago? At least if you're watching this video when it's first uploaded. That's weird to me. It's like, yeah, it's mental. Um, but we know in that update, which added new custom characters, for example, custom Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta, custom Rose, Goku Black, and all that stuff. We know from that that there's going to be at least one more batch of characters already in the game right now that are going to become custom characters in the future. Who are they going to be right now? We don't know, but it's just interesting to know that that was also part of a free update. So them already stacking up lots of things here that could be added as part of a free update. They will just go recap very quickly. New loading screens as part of the fashion contest. The Hero Vault character winner, the CC Mascot Vault winner, the costume winner, as well as new custom characters. As it says in the update, the Supreme Card Time update, that Fu will add more characters if he feels like it in the future. That wasn't in Legendary Pack 1. Would it be in Legendary Pack 2? Maybe, but we've not heard anything about that yet. So right now, I'm going to say no. So to me, it just makes sense for it to be in this massive free update if they do decide, well, not decide to do what I say, because who cares? But if they, if what I'm saying turns out to actually be true. Now, if that does happen, and that if that is the final update for Xenoverse 2, that is, like, you can't write this, dude. That just fits in perfectly, literally perfectly, for a new Dragon Ball console game to be revealed at the usual time of the year. May, June, July, E3 season, E3 2022. Now, if they imagine this, they finished the they finished the universe two with this, yeah, you know, the a massive free hero vault update released in what April or March of 2022. Then two, three months later, they then could possibly reveal Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. You can't write this. It keeps the momentum going from all the updates to the next game, and you take it from there. You hit the ground running. And with that said, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys ever so much for watching this video. Do you agree or disagree with me? Do let me know in the comments. To me, this just makes too much sense. The writing is on the wall. We have to wait and see what they do. I could be completely off, but with that said, we have to wait and see. And thank you guys ever so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.